Hello and welcome. This is Kate Swanson from Art Impressions here to do a little intro of our 2015 summer webinar that we featured for our wholesale customers on August 11th. This was a little preview of our brand new product that is now available at a store near you or at an online shop. It's also going to be available at artimpressions.com in the next coming months and will all be released by December 2015. We hope you enjoy a preview of our newest product and a little sneak peek at some tips as well as some great card samples. This webinar is featured by myself and Bonnie Krebs, our owner and designer, and we hope you enjoy viewing. Thanks for watching. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, my name is Kate Swanson. And I'm Bonnie Krebs. And we're so excited for you to tune in to our Art Impressions webinar. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We're so excited to show you our summer 2015 releases. Um, these are so, such fun new products. Um, great it's hard to images, pick a favorite, huh? Great images from this <laughs> one right here. So, um, and they're so fun to create. So, um, we hope you enjoy them as much as we mm -hmm. have in sharing them with you. Um, so, we'll just go ahead and get started. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to show you our five new AI People sets. So, these. These are our five new sets, really funny, hilarious phrases with them. And our design team, let me just say that we have the most amazing design team. These girls are so talented. We're and so, so thankful for yes, our design team. Yes, we are so, so thankful for them. They are rock stars. And so we've got some really great samples. So we're gonna show you the um, product and then, and then show you a sample card so that you can um, get some inspiration on how to use these. Okay, so this is our diet lady i'm not one to brag but i completed my two-week diet in four hours so she's got her cake and she's ready to move on really really cute um we also have our um a few more pounds and i'll be thin enough to go to the gym so really cute set super funny to send and how friends. many of us can relate to that I can't go to the gym because I'm just, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> um, one of the most popular sets from mm -hmm. our show, If It Fits, It Zips, or I'm sorry, If It Zips, It, it Fits. fits. I was <laughs> With us in our skinny jeans, yes, huh? Yes. How can we relate to this? I don't jeans. care what size you are, you can so, relate to this. Uh, we were just, just to mention really quickly, we were just at um, CHA in Chicago and Sierra Pacific Craft Show in Utah. So we got a little bit of feedback from our stores there, if we saw you there. Um, thank you so much for stopping by the booth. So yes. if I mentioned we've gotten lots of feedback, that's where it's from. Mm -hmm. So, um, oops, I'm holding up the wrong one. We've got our screaming lady with the ah. I know some of you can definitely relate to this I can. one. I for sure can. So, so funny. Just love this fun image. All occasion. It's sort of an all occasion card too. Yes. You can send it to anyone. <laughs> There's another one along the um, workout line, mm -hmm. huh? So, and it just says, am I skinny yet? Over the yoga ball, so cute. This would be me if I tried to get on a yoga ball right here. <laughs> Super fun. So that's the five new AI People sets. Um, All new AI People just continue to be so popular. People just love these. And um, this is a line that we'll continue to add to the, um, the image, and then they always have something to say. So mm -hmm. image and sentiment. Yeah, always great when they're paired together. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I will show you really quickly our two kind of new zoo crew kind of style images. Um, we have our um, happy birthday, hope it's a dilly with the armadillos, and happy birthday to Moo with the longhorns. So a little more, you know, southern kind of um, western Texas. Texas <laughs> so um, lots of kind of a new different image style for this. So then we also have our new Christmas sets. So, and I'll start off with, we have four new Christmas sets and we have our two um, kind of character people with our new Christmas. Because we always have to have character people. Yes. You know, we just, we got to. They're so fun. So we have our um, Merry Christmas and Holiday Cheers to You and then our super cute Twinkle in a Tangle. So with the Santa and Mrs. with the mistletoe. So and I love this idea that isn't the traditional red and green, huh? Mm -hmm. Isn't this the cutest mm -hmm. sample? I just love these samples so much. Really fun. So cute new images with those. We and also, again, image and sentiment. Image so you and have, sentiment. You so get both of those included. Paired together. And then we also have some new kind of shorter, rounder, cute little <laughs> images. They're sort of like round balls. Mm -hmm. So um, really fun. There's... There's a couple different images and a couple different texts in each of these sets. So I just love these cute little tags. People just loved them at the show. These tags were just a hit. 
everyone love these so much and they love these little round characters they're small and um, easy to put on a card or a tag mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a little different than last year last year we yes. were long tall, tall skinny snowman skinny. so they're a little shorter around a little shorter year. squatty and so then we also have our new and those came I should say we should say those come with sentiments so yes, they have they're the kind of load. They're loaded with stuff. three images, and then this one has three sentiments and two sentiments. So mm -hmm. so there's a lot in those sets. A lot that you can use with those. So um, from there, we've got our new shakers. So and we have five new images of our new shakers, and we're really excited because now our new shakers come with dies. Mm -hmm. So you have your main image, you have a little booty stamp area, you have your text, a die, and an action wobble to get you started. So you can make these really cute images all together. And I don't know, were these the, the most popular? They I mean, were, they were all kind of a hit, but everybody loved these. Yes, interactive everyone cards. loved these shakers. So the action wobbles are so fun to use. So jingle all the way with our cute little reindeer. So our yes. little booty shakes. We did our um, CHA workshop with this one too. And we put a little um, hot glue to a little jingle ball right on the jingle ball on his bum. So fun because so it cute. shook. So, so those cute little sounds. Um, let's go on to the little monster. Okay, we've got our cute little monster. This was one of our most popular. This was, yes, it was. People it was. I love this little guy. So trick or treat, smell, smell my, my feet. feet. <laughs> With the cute little action wobble. So people just love that one. And somebody suggested that this could be the cutest little um, birthday card too. Yeah. For a little one, you can just leave this pumpkin off of the image and um, make this little birthday card. Yeah. A little balloon or something like that. Stamp. Be so cute. That'd be so fun. And again, action wobble and the um, die is included in all mm -hmm. of these now. Mm -hmm. Every set. So, uh, which one are you? I'm sorry. Okay, the witch. The witch. There we go. And so um, we have Happy Halloween. Um, That's oh, right. Just witches for a Happy Halloween. So with the cute little witch. Um, and I love Bonnie had a great idea because it already has the the die in it, so you can die cut just any pattern paper. You don't have to use the pattern that's already mm -hmm. on the stamp. Mm -hmm. So you could just die cut any pattern paper. She could have any sort of bloomer mm -hmm. she wants. Yes, <laughs> she could. So, very cute. <clears throat> we also have our snow, <laughs> our tone it tan it. We can <laughs> tone it tan it with yes. the cute little swimmer. I just love that swimsuit. It's so cute. She's shaking her little booty because yeah. she's not afraid to shake her booty. Yeah, so fun. So then we also have the fifth one is our um, snowman. So that says, let the bells ring. And he's got little bells on his bum too. Mm -hmm. So you could add little um, cute little bells that you could hot glue onto there. How cute would that be mm -hmm. for someone? Be so fun. And so that's our new um, five new shaker sets. So um, we also have a great extension of our spinners line. Now this was a line mm -hmm. that we debuted in January. So, and people have just loved it. So we had to come out with great images for the holidays. Um, a couple Christmas, a couple Halloween, and then a couple all occasion kind of images as well. So the concept of these were, was that you would wind up, this is just string. I use scotch tape top and bottom. Um, but you can use any kind of string, twine, thread, fishing line, <clears throat> and then, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you would wind it all the way up and then mail it, and then when you open it, the person receiving it would see all that cute spin. So you can even see when we set them down, sometimes they just kind of blow, so they're really cute even just on a mantle. And they come with a front and back image that line up, uh, perfectly line up, a sentiment that goes with it, and then now we have the dies available to um, to cut them out so that they perfectly align. Yeah. So, so those are available now now as well. With yep. These. So that's our cute little witch one. Um, <coughs> excuse me, guys. <laughs> so we also have our cute little mouse spinner. This one would be really cute to decorate. That little um, Christmas ball could be um, decorated so cute with some glitter or some pattern paper. Mm -hmm. It's he's super really, cute with really that little mouse. So, and he's so cute when he spins around. So and what is the sentiment? Holding you close this Christmas. Oh, very, cute very is that? cute. So we also have our cute little angel. So, and she spins. And like you said, like Kate said, these are cute just to sit up because they're, they're always moving in the wind. Mm -hmm. 
So again, the front and back, and then they um, they just spin. Mm -hmm. You can see that. So angel and dies for those. We also have our cute little encouragement dog spinner. I just love this one. It's like you got chasing this. his tail with the dog chasing its tail. So cute encouragement or just a funny card to send to a friend. So very very cute for all those animal lovers out mm -hmm. there. So we also have our cute little kitty that's in the pumpkin. I so, love this card, by the way. And it says peekaboo to you. So super cute little image. Kind of almost an optical illusion when he spins around because the image is symmetrical. So it's really, really cute when it's spinning. And such a beautiful job on these card samples. Just can't say enough about our design team. They're so good. And so um, from there, we also have our um, Hello Friday with our cute little row. One of my favorites, personal favorites. Mm -hmm. Love this one. She's got her robe on. This is done with paper piecing. And again, um, she's all excited because hello, it's Friday. Mm -hmm. She is loving it. All An all occasion card for um, really for anyone. Mm -hmm. And of course, and what's of course, Christmas without our spinning Santa? We gotta have our Santa. So we have this cute little Santa. He says Christmas cheer is coming to town. This one we also did in the um, the CHA work workshop, which we will um, talk about a little bit later too. Mm -hmm. So very, so very cute. cute. Perfect. From there, we'll go ahead and show our two new trifold sets. So um, our trifolds have always been an expanding, really popular line. Um, these images are made, um, there's three main images and your sentiment in each, each stamp set. And they're set up so that you would stamp your center image, turn over your paper, and then it has instructions on the back side of your paper on where to stamp along the sides, and then you just cut down and around your image. So just cut down your score line. Down around this way. Mm -hmm. So and you then, can start at the bottom and just cut all the way up and then up the fold line. Mm -hmm. So a five and a half inch by 11 inch just scored in thirds is mm -hmm. what the card base is. Yep. And basically the instructions are how far down to stamp the image because it's just stamped directly along the fold. So the basic image in the center, and again, turn it over and stamp the two um, images along the fold. Mm -hmm. Super easy, super easy. Mm -hmm. And um, and by the way, if you're, if you're coloring these with um, Copic markers and you're afraid of the marker bleeding through, uh, it's a really cute idea also to glue in a piece of um, patterned paper mm -hmm. before you make the cut. So um, stamp your basic image, stamp the two images, do the coloring, and then uh, glue in a piece of um, paper, printed paper, and then cut out the image. Mm -hmm. And that will hide anything that may have bled yep. through. Any of that bleed. So we've got that cute um, Haunted Mansion image. So very fun, spooky. And then we also have our cute little Christmas image as well. It's kind of a new Christmas scene with the house, the snowman, the cardinals on the on the mailbox. And this was one of our um, our class or CHA workshops as well. So with the belly band and then um, the cute little paper, and it's got that you know pulled open shadow box. So you can see this way. Mm -hmm. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. Here's the idea with the paper glued in. So if the image is colored and you're um, afraid that it might be bleeding through, you just glue some powdered paper in there. So cute. Yeah. Perfect. So there's just a little different way to use that same um, trifold image. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's all three images, but it's just used a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Very fun. Always adding to that trifold line. Yeah, so which we will could keep adding to that. So people just love it. They love the interactive cards. They mm -hmm. love something a little more three dimensional. Mm -hmm. Something that's Project a little more challenging. Yes, mm -hmm. a little more challenging. And um, so we're different. giving. It, yeah, we're I'll gonna give it to them. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we'll go on to our new windows. So and we have three new um, window to the world images. This is another just hugely popular line that we will continue to add to. Mm -hmm. um, just because they're small, easy to color, the sentiment is around um, the window, and people just love these so much. Mm -hmm. So we've got our cute little Halloween window with the cat. We've got um, our little kind of Christmas scene window. That's that one over on the on your left, I believe. So um, that one over there with that cute little Christmas scene window, as well as our snowman. 
that we did in our class as well. This cute little snowman guy. Like that one. And the um and this is the window die. So if you're using your window die, you can see you can break off the second part, cut your opening so that you have your window panes. Like this piece. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can take your shutter and open it and put it in any cardstock over the top. So this is out of contrasting uh, paper. So this cuts your base mm -hmm. card, the opening, and then mm -hmm. this is cut out contrasting paper. Mm -hmm. Really Super cute with cute. pattern paper too, to have pattern paper on the inside of your shutters. So mm -hmm. you can see both of them. Mm -hmm. I always love when they're cut with those. Very cute. This has been very popular and it goes with, um, with all the windows. So mm -hmm. um, it's perfect to use with any of them. Mm -hmm. So, and then we also have our new watercolor. Another one of our most popular lines. Mm -hmm. I keep saying that, but really, this is one of our most popular lines. Mm -hmm. People love our AI watercolor. Um, great technique in using the color in your stamps to pull out the color and create these very cool watercolor images. So we have our door, which is this cute door right here. More of a Christmas scene. It comes mm -hmm. with the wreath and the little snowy tree, um, the logs by the side. This is all done just with markers and uh, stamps and water. Mm -hmm. So super easy to do. Instructions are included on the back side. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, multiple, lots of videos on our website um, mm -hmm. that show you the technique and you will be having mm -hmm. videos of all of these. New videos of all of our new little minis coming up on our YouTube in the next week or so. So this is more for fall. It includes um, three new accent stamps. So the little uh, branches that are coming out of out of the um, out of the pot, mm -hmm. the little Queen Anne's lace, uh, the little berries, and then this clay pot. So mm -hmm. super super easy to do. And then we also have our cute little cart. So this one's nice. again another really easy project. Comes with these little butterflies. Um, the basic image is the cart, comes with another long stem, mm -hmm. and um, the little accents. Mm -hmm. So super, super easy. There's no uh, beginner advance with these projects. They're all the same difficulty. Mm -hmm. And you're going back to the same flowers and foliage with all of these um, stamps. So mm -hmm. super easy. Perfect. You can do it. Awesome. Last but not least, we have our cute little easel dies. So these are a game changer. You're going to love these cute new dies. Um, the concept for them was to create these kind of images for um, standing images that you could use for watercolor, but you can use them for so many mm -hmm. other things. You can use them for um, photos even. You can use them for your Christmas image. And I'm going to show you really quickly how to put these easel, easel dies together. So two styles. This one has the scalloped bottom and a circle um, opening. This one has a straight edge on the bottom with a rectangular. Both come with a little um, banner to put a sentiment in and then a nesting die so that you can do a contrasting color around the, um, around the opening. And um, super, super easy to use. Mm -hmm. So if you're using our die, it has these nested ones that you would just clip out. Um, if you are using a solid cardstock, just run your outer die twice if you are using a pattern paper so that you get kind of it all the way seamless around, you would just run your pattern paper one way, and I'm using the scalloped one on this one, and then you would run it the opposite way mm -hmm. on your paper again a second time. This one I've already gone ahead and cut the smaller frame out of my scallop out of here. So the opening is just cut out of one mm -hmm. of one of these, just one of the sides. I'm gonna just go ahead and take my twinkle and a tangle image and I'm just gonna glue it on the inside. This would be so cute with a, a Santa picture, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Your to family. send to your loved ones, and they and they fold up flat. So when you um, when you close it, you can fold a little tab, and they fold into an envelope, um, perfectly flat. So you can see, I just glued that image on the inside of that that oval. So now I'm just gonna take my two opposite panels, and the the die has this great dash score line on it on both places here. Where you can see it so that'll cut through both sides when you're running it opposite ways with your paper so I'm just gonna take these two and I'm just gonna piece them opposite ways together and I also make sure to line up my scallops at the bottom so that they show nicely on the front they should fit perfectly together mm -hmm. 
people are loving these so much. Mm -hmm. These are so much fun because they're so versatile. The idea in the very beginning was that was to frame your watercolor painting. So when you did these little um, small little images with the watercolor, like the car in the little door, that you have a little frame that you can put them in. But they're so versatile for everything. Mm -hmm. So now that I've got that all lined up perfectly, I'm gonna just go ahead and pop out. There's a little tab in the die. So I pop out both sides of the tabs. So and I'll hold this up a little bit closer so that you can see it as well. So I popped out both sides of my tabs. And the easiest way I've found to describe it is go ahead and just cut through halfway through your tab on the inside of each side once you're looking at it. So once I have it flipped over and it's looking at me, I'm gonna cut. And there's a score side. line, so you just cut along the score line just right to the center mm -hmm. of the tab. You could also rip it if you wanted to, but I kind of like the clean edge of just cutting it. So you can see there I just cut on the inside of each side. From there, I just say push your tab all the way through and it's got that score line already on there. So fold back one score line, push the tab through again and fold back on your second score line. And you can glue all of this down, but you can also just pull them up together and bring down these tabs. So there's just those two tabs from either side. And they should fit together and I'll perfectly. Just bring them down and it'll hold your paper so that you can get a standing easel. Just Super that cute. Easy. You can do a contrasting color around the opening because you mm -hmm. have two nesting dies. You can do a little sentiment on the banner, something decorative. Mm -hmm. You can add all kinds of things around them, little mm -hmm. flowers and doodads and mm -hmm. sparkles and all kinds of things to decorate these. And the thing that I love about these dice too is that it does have the frames to get you started, but since it has this open area on the front, you can take any of your own bracket dies or mm -hmm. a, a scalloped edge or anything you want and put it inside of here and use it as your frame mm -hmm. um, for your image. Yeah, opening. So if you want a larger image inside of there, you can use anything you want with this frame die. Really handy, mm -hmm. very versatile. So you can mm -hmm. do so much. And um, I just love the idea, like even here, you can see how nicely it would just stand on the mantle. So great to display. I like, I always want them above my kitchen sink and my sink at home. So I have different fun things to look at. Mm -hmm. So great to send. Super cute and lots of different ways to use them. These have been probably the most popular thing, would you say? Yes, yes, people loved our frame dies. Um, just a great easy concept, easy to put together, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. very fun. So I also wanted to show you guys our um, window die as well. So this is actually the make and take kit that um, comes in the trade show in a box. So if you already got your trade show in a box, you can follow, in, follow along, but I can show you as well. This is, um, it comes with instructions in it. So, and um, what we've done is we've gone ahead and used the second panel small one. and just cut that opening with those panels. So, and then there's also the um, window die that we said you can also cut out of contrasting paper. I've done a second one as well. So that has the panels already in it because I want to show you if you don't want your panes inside of your window die, just go ahead and snip them out. So I'm just going to cut out these little edges. So that I can still have the same perfect opening around that first window. So you can see I've got that, that nice just square over it. And I can go ahead and just glue it over my opening window. So I'll just take this one. This was such a popular <clears throat> card. Mm -hmm. People just love this. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, they love the interactive things, but they also love things that are simple. Mm -hmm. These little um, windows to the world are super easy to color. You could put a card together in just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. And then adding that window die just makes it more three-dimensional too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's been, our window die has been so popular. We've mm -hmm. sold a ton of them this year and we can see why because it's, it's versatile. You can use it on so many different things. You can put your front and backs in it. Mm -hmm. You can use it for a watercolor behind it. You can put anything behind your open window. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just taking, there's a little, you'll probably not see it here, but there's a little tiny faint score line that cuts on your window die, just scores on it. So I'm just folding back on those score lines so that I'm folding this window all the way open. Just folding that window open so that it's nice and open. And then I'm just gonna, once I have it open, folded, I can see where I want to glue on the back side. So I can glue across here and glue across the sides. 
so that I can put it over that opening for my card. And it should fit perfect. Mm -hmm. And from there, you, I'm going to go ahead and take my image and run some glue on the back side of it. And I can go ahead and kind of align it at first before I stick it all the way down so I can get my image on the inside where I want it to be. And that's our new Christmas, little Christmas mm -hmm. um, scene. So um, we appreciate everyone viewing again. Um, if you have any questions, contact us. And we will see you in January. If you want to tune in to either, we will be at CHA Mega Show in January. So we'd love for you to stop by our booth. And we will also be doing a webinar then. So thank you so much. Have thank a wonderful so much. day. Have an awesome day. Thanks.